Good afternoon, y'all. I'm making this on top of my stove because Instapot, I'm going to push this to the back up under this when I go to vent it. So, my hood. Okay, so we're making meatloaf in the Instapot. And uh, I've tried to start this three times already. And then to brown it, we're going to use our air fryer because it's hot today. So I want to show you my new my new uh, gadget I got today. It's the pressure cooker insert pan, double stack, uh, chef toast. I think that's a Z. Uh, anyway, I've already washed it, but I got to spray this one because meatloaf's going to go in it. I want to put some spray on it. There's the lid. I don't know if you can see it. There you go. And I'm going to put some vegetables, frozen vegetables on top to steam them. And this will lock together. Got these little handles. And then you can pick it up. You can get it in and out of your Instapot. So, let's go ahead and get started on the meatloaf. Let me get, let me get my, uh, tripod. Oh, before I put it on the tripod. It also come with, uh, this. I can grab the wire top to lift it out of there. And this, uh, rubber mat to, silicone, I guess, to lay it on when it comes out. There you go. It's a nice little set. I'll look where I bought it, and I'll put a link in the description if anybody's interested in it. So let's get our meatloaf made. We're going to go ahead and spray our pan. I'm using uh, extra virgin olive oil spray. Now that's sprayed. We're going to get our hands dirty because I don't care. Alright, so... Got my hamburger meat in here. It's 90% lean. We're going to put in like, this is three quarter cup of bread crumbs. This is Italian, but it doesn't matter. Let's see if it takes that much. Maybe a half cup. I I'm going to see. Let me mash this up. Put a little more. Now let's let's just say mm, let's just say about a half cup of that, and then we're gonna put in one small onion. I'm doing this before I put in my uh, uh, tomato sauce. And then we're going to put in some, this is like all seasoning, you know, Spice Supreme, got everything in it, garlic, the whole shebang, salt, so you don't want to put very much of this, it's very strong, just lightly. Then I'll put garlic powder in there. Now this is seasoned to taste, so everybody's different. Then I'll put some black pepper in there. This is my, my peppercorn ground peppercorn. Okay, and I'm going to mash all that together. And we're going to add an egg. Now, I always add my egg to a bowl, a little bowl for, first. Because I don't want to get pieces or in case the egg's bad. <clears throat> and I'm going to slightly beat in that a little bit. Couldn't grab a fork. Okay. Slightly beaten. Egg. And this is eight ounces of tomato sauce. Yeah, I'm gonna get my hands in here. That's just about all it is. Then we'll be putting the the uh, 
ketchup and a little bit of barbecue sauce mixed together on top and then when this comes out we will uh, put this in the uh, air fryer to get our glaze on top no need to heat up the oven in the hot summertime okay now let's get this I'm gonna wash my hands off Let's get this put in our pan. And I don't know if y'all can see what I got. Let me wash again. I don't know if y'all can see, but I'm doing this on top of my stove. You see this? This is those big sheep. And you just, because my, my stove is clean. I don't want it dirty. And so, uh, Oh yeah, we're gonna add a cup of water in here and I've got the flat trivia in here. And one cup of water goes in there. And then we're gonna just smash this down into our pan. Get it pretty even. I'm gonna wash my hands again. Y'all sit in there for a minute. <laughs> and then I'm going to go around the edges and give it a little bit of space. So, if y'all can see me or not, let's see. No. I need an angle above my... Oh, oh, well, here. This is what I'm doing. I'm going to go around the edges... And give it and give it some room from the sides, cause you know we might get a little grease. But this is 90% lean. So just take one of your spatulas, kind of bring that meat in a little bit. I'm kind of twisting it so my spatula so that. My meat is kind of centered. Okay, now. See, if you don't have room in your kitchen, you make room. <laughs> All right. We got to add a cup of water in there, and then we're going to put this in there. Well, not yet. We're, okay. Getting ahead of myself. Get a cup of water. I use filtered water in mine. One cup of water in the Instapot. Don't forget that. Get your uh, wire rack that you're going to be putting it on. Comes with it. Put that on there. Put this on top. It's got the wire rack on it. Put this on top. We're going to put some vegetables up here. Let me get them. They're going to be frozen. Frozen vegetables. Just a bag of them. That's what I'm using. I think I've got them at the Dollar Tree. But uh, they said to put on top what cooks less time. So, you know, vegetables, they're not going to take as long. And I don't think I need to add any water, but I'm going to add a smidgen just in case. Just a tiny bit, because I don't know. Then we're going to put the lid on it. Ooh, a lot of vegetables. They're frozen. That's why I don't think. Okay, and then we're going to... Lid's not going down, so I'm just going to go ahead and snap this together. You'll figure out when you when you get it. How it goes. I'm going to have to put my glasses on when I can see what I'm doing. Maybe I'm on the wrong side of it.
okay the handle comes up through and then smash it down over the top now there we go there we go now we're going to lower it down in into our instapot now this is six quart this will fit six or eight quart we're going to put our lid on it And I'm going to push this to the back because when it when it steams off, I want it to be up under my hood. Before you steam that off, you're going to turn your hood on. Now this is manual uh, 25 minutes on high. So hit manual, but let's see, less time. Must have cooked a roast because it said 95 minutes. Oh, God. Come on. I, they won't let you hold your finger down. You just got to keep doing it. That's aggravating. Okay. 25 minutes. Uh, it should be on high. Okay, it's on... So we'll come back in 25 minutes and see how everything looks. And then we'll use our air fryer to do the rest. Now I'm just going to mix up a little bit of barbecue sauce and ketchup to put on top. And then we'll put it in the air fryer in the same pan. It should fit my air fryer. Here's, here's my air fryer. I think that pan will fit in there. I didn't measure it. Hang on, I'll find out because my cake pan will fit in there. Here's my Instapot cake pan. And it fits right into my air fryer. And then we're going to, that's how we're going to do our topping. It's going to be yummy. Okay. We'll be back when we, uh, okay, I'll show you. Uh, we're just going to do, uh, we're not going to measure. Can y'all see this? There. I'm just going to do this for tanginess. Not, not a whole lot of barbecue sauce. About a tablespoon. Take some place of like vinegar or something. This is a new bottle of ketchup. I didn't shake it. Oh well, let's see what happens. That's alright. And I gotta put about I don't know. You don't really need to measure anyway. Just put it in there. And now I'm gonna whisk that up. Whisk that together. If y'all want, if it's too tangy, you can always add a little bit of some kind of sweetener. I think I'm going to add some honey. i got to get another honey bottle. This is our honey. I'm just using about a teaspoon of honey. I like mine a little sweet. I don't like it tangy. Okay, there you go. That's the sauce. I'm going to... It won't hurt it to sit out for a few minutes. Okay, there you have it. Well, we'll be back when it gets ready for the air fryer. So we're back and we're gonna add the glaze. It's gone 11 minutes past, so I'm gonna turn on my fan. I don't think we're, I don't think we're gonna get any uh, steam from it. Now the pressure's off. So, I just went ahead and let it go and depressurize on its own. And, uh, so you put it on this, on your stove, this pan, so it's up under this, if you're steaming. Then you just pull this pan forward. 
whatever you're doing, you can pull it forward. I'm going to unplug it. I short cord. Pull it forward, and you'll be able to lift it out of there. So it's got its own little lifter. And then you can set it over here. We don't really need this mat, but we're going to go ahead and put it there. Okay. Now, just push your pin back out of the way. Now, we're going to open this up and see what it looks like. i got to get you situated where you can see what it looks like. All right. Let's open this up. Oh, we don't need that. Too much noise. Turn the light on. Uh, yeah, y'all use your big baking sheets for your... You don't make no mess on your stove. Let's see. What the vegetables are. These were frozen vegetables. Ah, they're pretty mushy. But I kind of like mine real mushy, so... If y'all don't want yours too mushy, maybe don't cook it with your meatloaf. Or take it out uh, as soon as... You, 25 minutes is up. Okay, I'm going to put the lid back on that. Move this aside. See what the meatloaf looks like. See why I pull it away from the sides? Now, I'm going to drain that. Uh, before I put it in the air fryer. So, let's see. Let's take this. And let me see how I'm going to do this. How am I going to do this? Don't need this. I want to drain that off. I'm going to get a plate or something. Put that on. I'm just going to put it on a paper plate. Got a lot of water here. That's why I don't want it on my stove. And let's see how we're going to lift it out of there. Hope I can lift, lift this out of there without messing it up. Now, okay. We're going to use this lid, the steam lid, to drain it. That's what you do. So I'm going to take it over my sink and drain it. That was the best way to drain it. And that was the best way to drain it. Use that lid there. Now, see what it looks like? And I pulled it away from the edges when I before I cooked it. Now we're going to put our sauce on it. All it is is barbecue sauce and ketchup. About a tablespoon of barbecue sauce. And I'm just going to pour this on there. It's a tablespoon. And then, well, it's however much you want. I'm going to get a thing here. Rest of this out. Send it, stop it. Spread it on there. Right, Senna. He's trying to climb the cabinet. No. Oh, goodness. Okay, now I'll show you what it looks like. That's what it looks like. Now this is going to go in the air fryer. Okay. So let's bring this over. Senna, stop it. Let's bring you over here to the air fryer. I have to raise you up. I'll have to show you how. Okay, so my air fryer is big enough. Y'all want to make sure you don't buy a little bitty air fryer. Hold on. We, I got to hook it up. And I don't know what I'm going to put it on. Because I've never done this. Never done this before. 
let me see if it says burl. No, I don't say anything. Mine is just temperature. And I'm going to put it on 400. And I'm just going to put it on. I don't know. I'm going to set it for 20 minutes and just keep an eye on it. That's what it looks like going in the air fryer. There it is. And I'll give you the actual time it takes to brown. Now, I kept my kitchen cool. I didn't have to heat up my kitchen. Yay! Using the Instapot and the, for, to make my meal and the air fryer to finish up the meatloaf instead of heating up that hot oven. Summertime. And I went out there, and I, these greens already been washed. I got red lettuce. I washed them three times. Now they're going to go in my spinner. And then we're going to spin it. Okay, so that's what we're having. We're having vegetables, meatloaf. Well, when I had time to go out to the garden and get salad and make salad let's see this has been about 18 minutes and we'll check it oh my gosh it looks so good before it burns <laughs> so around 20 minutes on 400 or if you're kind of scared you can turn it down a little bit but uh i kind of like mine get a little crispy i like it the way it looks right now i'm gonna let it finish the whole 20 minutes but you might want to put it on, I'd say, 380 for 20 minutes in your air fryer. You see how easy that is? You don't even have to turn on your oven. I don't know if other people are doing this, but <laughs> I'm thinking outside the box because it's hot summertime. I don't want to heat up my house cooking. So, yep. So, we're going to have these vegetables. Probably got a little bit more done than I wanted. And I'm just going to season that up with just some salt and pepper. We're, we're trying to get more vegetables. And here's my salad. Here's my salad we'll be eating. And I'll plate, plate it and show you everything we're eating. Okay. This is coming out now. This is what come with my, my cake pan. And it opens up really wide. I don't know if y'all can see me or not. No matter where I put it. But anyway, it's going to grab a hold of this pan. Well, let me get it over here. So I can show you. Going to move it. It will pick this whole pan up. Of course, I'm going to get a hot pad. Oops, I stick it right in there. And just hold it really tight. And, whoa, I'll show you what it looks like. And get it over here. Yes, if y'all don't have the cake pan in this, get it. Okay. Now, mine don't shut off when it's engaged, so I don't engage it. I gotta unplug it. But, let's see. You see that? Yum. Now, let me plate it. I'll show you my food that I'm going to be eating. For those that don't know how to cut a round in a round pan, you go right across the middle first. Then you go right across the middle again. Start cutting it up like little wedges like. Then I don't think I want that much meatloaf, so I'm going to go to smaller. And that's how you cut around. Just keep cutting it. Like, like if you do cheesecake or something in, in your Instapot. This is a good way. I'm going to leave my husband a little bit bigger piece. Comes out pretty good. Mmm, that looks good. Let me get the rest of our stuff. I'll show you. I thought I'd melt some butter. This is my unsalted butter that I did back in November. So you can can it. 
but refrigerate it after you open it. See how pretty that is? Mmm. Do unsalted. There's lunch. Uh, meatloaf, vegetables, and I put a little butter, salt and pepper, and salad. I'm going to put some dressing on it. Don't know which one I'm going to put on there. This is a small piece for me. My husband, he's getting like almost double that. One and a half. Okay, y'all. That's my meatloaf recipe. Let me, let me tell you how it tastes. Let me get a fork. Let's take a taste. Mmm. Not too bad. Huh. I use real onions in that. Okay, y'all. There you go. Make out some meatloaf. Here's my plate. Uh, salad, meatloaf, veggies. I'm trying to ha more have less meat and stuff and more veggies. Hey, bye, y'all. Yeah. Yeah. What you doing up there in that tree? What you doing? Hi, sweetie. Is that fun up there? This is a perfect tree for cats, isn't it, Ian? And send it down here. And they just go climb up this tree. And then it makes a little perch. And they love it. Yeah, we can't see you unless, you, unless I see your eyes. <laughs> He's so pretty. He's so pretty. I can't do this for long. Ooh, look at that boy. Them blue eyes. What? Where you going? Go up the tree. You going up the tree? Go up. Go up the tree with you in. Yes, be a good time to get this one. Having so much fun, I don't want to take him in. Oh, I feel that nerve in my fingers. Oh. Yeah, like right now. Come on, I got you. Come on, I got you. Oh, goodness, would you hold him? What? Hold him for me. Just hold him. No, he's I know. Me. Hey.